The Apostle Paul says in Acts 24.16 that he strives to have a conscience without offense toward God or man. If anyone had a reason to be on guard, it was Paul. There were many factions that were trying at least to delay his mission and at worst to kill him. Part of being offended includes a sense of judgment that you may have against someone who has wronged you. Jesus reminds us in Luke 6.37 that if we don't want to be judged, we should not judge others. Leaving everything for God to work out is for the best, but even when doing this, it's important not to transfer your anger to God as if he's going to get revenge for you. Unlike us, God has a perfect heart of mercy and is more interested in seeing a person's mind changed than condemning. Very often a person is changed over a long period of time and they don't necessarily understand that there are things they have done to hurt others. This means that justice from a human perspective is not accomplished. But we will all stand before the Lord one day and he will show us the details of our lives. A relationship with Jesus causes a heart to stay soft and be willing to forgive. Through the example of Jesus' sacrifice, we learn to be forgiving ourselves. If we are not forgiving toward others, then we can't really claim to know the Lord personally. Matthew 7.22 says that there will be those on Judgment Day that the Lord will say, I never knew you. Go away from me. Obviously, we would all much rather hear, well done, good and faithful servant. The attraction of the Christian faith that Jesus began when he walked the earth is highlighted by his forgiveness. Let's do the same.